Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about DBLT stock and take a closer look at the company. Tough built is manufacturer and distributor accessories for the professional and do-it-yourself construction industries. Their products are connectable belts, pouches, bags and totes, business organization, knee pads, saw horses. Also recently they added hand tools to their portfolio. They sell through wholesalers, chain stores and Amazon in US and Canada. Also they have recently announced that several large home improvement retailers will offer Tough Built products in nearly 500 stores across France. Tough Built's new retail customers include well-recognized national and multinational chain brands including Tool Station, Sitton Group, and Gadamot. Tough Built increased sales through Amazon by 118% to approximately $5.48 million for the first half of 2021, compared to approximately $2.51 million in the first half of 2020. Revenues for the second quarter of 2021 increased 132% to $15.9 million, compared to $6.8 million in the second quarter of 2020. These are great newsies for TBLT investors. But let's open our eyes wider to see the dark side too. First of all revenue for the second quarter of 2021 increased 132% to $15.9 million, compared to $6.8 million in the second quarter of 2020. But gross profit increased only 41% to $3.4 million, compared to $2.4 million in the second quarter of 2020. It is great. But here's the interesting part. Gross profit margins for the quarter were 21.2%, compared to 34.8% in the year ago period. That means they actually earned less profit and less money, because of industry supply chain disruptions, which have led to historically high shipping costs. As well as substantial increases in inventory levels. Maybe we can say it was because of COVID and maybe temporary. Let's hope so, otherwise it could be a disaster for the company, because if costs and gross profit margins stay that way, company must increase their prices, which is not good. Especially in this industry. As company sales increased, so did expenses. Operating expenses were $10.7 million, compared to $4.6 million in the second quarter of 2020. The increase in operating expense was primarily driven by higher SCANDA expenses due to an expanded workforce from approximately 30 to 121 global employees and contractors, increased R&D expenses, and marketing costs. So gross profit decreased 13.6% and expenses increased more than 50%. Tough Built is not a medical or bioscience company. They don't produce high-tech equipments. Because of a family business I'm aware of this industry. So when they say R&D cost is just a beautiful sentence to use in the expenses section. When a company increase their workforce that means they increase their production to answer increased demand. But Tough Built increased workforce by 400%. Now remember that revenue increased only 132%. It doesn't make any sense to me. Because they can answer this demand only by increasing 50% workforce not 400%. The company wants to enter European markets, maybe management want to be ready. But I believe it was a wrong call. I know a company which made the very same mistake, they were kind of in the same situation of tough build, they had a successful year. Everything in that year indicated improvement and everyone were happy and positive about the future of company. CEO was a friend of my father, I never forget the day that he was talking about the success of his company and how much money they made. He said they started to build a new production site and increased workforce by 150% at once to increase production and marketing. He said it was my dream to have so many employees. But unfortunately his dream lasted only for two years and after that the company was in a big problem with huge debt, because sales didn't increase as they predicted but expenses did. Tough Built is still can't produce all parts by itself. They usually order parts from other companies. They call it subcontractors. They are reliance on single suppliers for some product components, they have limited manufacturing capabilities and reliance on subcontractors for assistance. These subcontractors are usually costly. Now let's read what company says about the risks. Please please listen carefully, there are some really important information. Such risks and uncertainties include, without limitation, risks and uncertainties associated with market acceptance of our existing and new products. Delays in bringing products to key markets. An inability to secure regulatory approvals for the ability to sell our products in certain markets. Intense competition in the industry from much larger, multinational companies. Product liability claims. Product malfunctions. Our limited manufacturing capabilities and reliance on subcontractors for assistance. 
our efforts to successfully obtain and maintain intellectual property protection covering our products, which may not be successful. Our reliance on single suppliers for certain product components. The fact that we will need to raise additional capital to meet our business requirements in the future and that such capital raising may be costly, dilutive or difficult to obtain. The fact that we conduct business in multiple foreign jurisdictions, exposing us to foreign currency exchange rate fluctuations, logistical and communications challenges, burdens and costs of compliance with foreign laws and political and economic instability in each jurisdiction. Also as they mention, there are many competitors especially from China with much lower prices make the path very hard for tough built. Competing Chinese and European in Europe is quite challenging, expensive and with lower chance of success. Conclusion. What is a company porpoises? Some want to bring innovation and something useful to human life. But most of them are established just to make their owners rich. Tough Built started 2021 with around $2 million cash. But in February, March and July 2021, they raised approximately $63 million. I should mention that market cap currently is $65 million. They said they did it because they wanted to take advantage of favorable market conditions and to remain operationally competitive through a difficult supply chain period. I would say they didn't believe to their value and success, so they take advantage of favorable market conditions and investors to get enough money to guarantee their own future. They didn't care to the people who believed in them, invested their life saving in the company, they just sold shares as much as they could. I will listen to upcoming earning call and I will provide you further information if I found something new and worth knowing. Of course not financial advice but such companies are not worth even one second thinking. We need to guard our money against such companies. Knowledge is money. I hope this information has been useful to you. I wish you all a successful and great future.